Welcome back to Summershine. Today we're going to be talking about small bits and pieces for using with your Dremel. So I've got just a, I think this is a Dremel 4000. Yep, this is just a Dremel 4000. It has the flex shaft on it here. This is what I've been using here lately. And I've been getting a lot of people asking me about these little Dremel bits here. These Dremel bits, I find a lot of these on Amazon and eBay. They come in 100 count pieces here. I have a whole bunch of different ones. I have these felts here. These ones here come with a external shaft that you have to mount the felt onto. Let me get this out of the bag real quick and I'll show you. So here's the external mount. It has a little screw on the end of it. And then you would just thread this into the hole here and these go on. These are super soft and they're nice, but you have to run them at a lower RPM. They come apart pretty quick. They break down pretty quick. So they're good, but they're not my favorite. Recently, I have found some of these mounted points. And as you can see, I've got a handful here. I'll show you a few different ones here. These are in a bag. I've bought these from several different sellers. So I don't really have a preference yet of who to buy them from. I know UXL sells a bunch of these and I do like their products. I will try to find some links and put them below if I can. Otherwise, uh, maybe I'll picture in picture a little, a couple pictures of Amazon over here or over here somewhere. You'll see a link on the screen. Nonetheless, these ones are, are a mounted point. They, the felt is much stiffer and it's mounted to the actual shaft when you get it. This is nice because they hold up longer. You can run them at a little bit higher speed. They're not supposed to be ran over like 15,000 RPM. I run them at like 20, 25, but they do break down a, a bit faster if you run them at that speed. I have one, uh, I think I had one here, floating around here somewhere. You can see that, if you can see here, this kind of orange brown color in the middle here, when you get them too hot, they'll actually get burnt in the center and you won't notice it on the outside until they come apart, they'll kind of blow apart on the edge. As you can see with this one here, it's all worn down and it's actually been blown apart and cut. I've cut it actually a few times, cut the piece off it. This started as a 12 millimeter, I think it's a 12 or 14 millimeter mounted drum, I believe this is, a felt drum. These, I will love these for in-between spokes. If you're doing fine detail work uh, on, uh, maybe you've seen my video on TikTok of the valve cover or the diff cover, the cast aluminum. When I got to get down into some smaller point spots that I can't get a buff down into, I will use these points for that. These things here, uh, I think they call them like a non-woven or something like that. The, it's a three millimeter shank or shaft on it. These have to be spun a little bit slower. You want to be around eight to 10,000 RPM is what I generally run them at and they last quite a while. They come in a variety of different grits. I think this is like a 400 or a 600. This is like a 220. I think the greens are a 320 or something like that. These work really nice. These are, if you need to blend some sanding spots, say you've used something more abrasive, like a rubber bit here that we'll get to in just a second. These are really nice for blending in that spot or taking off uh, some dirt or stuck on corrosion or something like that. These work really well for that. Next, we have rubber abrasives. When I first ordered these, I thought they were rubber polishing bits. This is what it says, it was a polishing bit. I thought it was just a smooth rubber and you put a little bit of a rubber or of a polishing, like liquid polishing or polishing compound on it and you use it to, uh, to polish. I was like, oh, that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> I ordered them, they came in, come to find out they're an abrasive and they're a very effective abrasive. They do wear down kind of quick, especially if you run them over 15 or 12 or 15,000 RPM you'll blow through that super fast, but uh, they are phenomenal for getting in there and working in some detail areas, getting in small spots like that. Uh, that's the rubber. No, another one you have is rubber and walnut. Walnut. So these are walnut impregnated or walnut infused rubber. They have chunks of walnut inside of them. These work really well and they last a long time. If you can find these in bulk, let me know because the most I can find them is maybe a hundred pack. And although a hundred is good, a thousand would be better. The, they're very similar to the rubber mounted point. They come mounted on a three millimeter shaft. These are all three millimeter or eighth inch shaft or shank. And they work phenomenal. I absolutely love them. The last one here is somewhere in the, it's kind of the middle road. So the walnuts are a little bit aggressive. 
uh, because the, the walnut will chunk out and can leave a little deeper scratch in that spot. It'll buff out pretty fast with the rubber right behind it. So it's not a huge deal, but somewhere between a walnut shell, you know, the walnut, walnut rubber and then just the regular rubber is this cowhide, I believe is what it is, a cowhide abrasive buff uh, or bit, I guess it is, a mounted point. And these are super nice. They last quite a while. They last a lot longer than the rubber b uh, bits here, but they are uh, just, a, just a hair more aggressive. But they're fantastic for getting down into fine little detail areas and getting down in there and working it. Like I take this thing here and I'll just kind of get down in there and I'll, I'll work in an area if I need to and just work that out. Works phenomenal. Highly recommend if you don't have a flex shaft for your Dremel yet, and you're just using a full-size Dremel with the bits on the end of it, gotta get a flex shaft. Go find one of these. They're about 36 inches long. They're relatively inexpensive. I think they're like 40 or 60 bucks, I think, something like that. Maybe I'll put that up over here somewhere if I'm getting fancy on this video. When I, let me give you a short little tip here while we're doing this. When I mount my points, these shafts are only so long here, and the shaft on the point is only so long. I only put about a quarter quarter to three eighths of an inch into that um, chuck right here. And you can see how much extra I have out there. And the reason for that is because when this is spinning, I don't wanna hit this collar on whatever I'm working on because it'll quickly mar it up and you have to go back through and chase that out. So uh, that's a tip. You can run those out a little bit long like that and make it so you're not getting into it. I think I've covered pretty much everything here. Um, the last thing I have, I guess, are these little sewn buffs. I haven't even, I don't even know if I've used one of these yet. I've maybe used one of them. These are for a lower RPM and they would be like working down into uh, uh, some softer aluminum maybe. Might work for that. I don't know. They're not my favorite. Honestly, if I'm using anything, I'm using these mounted, these mounted felt bits are phenomenal. Work fantastic. I use these with the Time to Shine product or with um, the Lumi from GoShineOn.com. Lumi works really well. It stays wet for a long time. It's very abrasive and it just really polishes up with a hurry. And then you can chase that with a little bit of time to shine and it cleans right up uh, by hand. You can go with time to shine behind it with, by hand with a terry towel and fixes you right up. If you wanna see that Lumi, uh, have a bottle here, I got it. So one of the things that I do is what, <laughs> what I like to do, get a little cup like this and take that cup and then I'll take some Lumi, I'll shake the Lumi up and I'll pour it into the cup. And that will, uh, it, I'll just have this, you can see it's all dusty and nasty right now because it's been sitting over here while Robert's been doing some polishing. But you can see there's Lumi in the bottom of that cup. I'll pour it in there and then I can just take my felt bits and I just dip it down in there. Even with it running, it doesn't do too bad. Dip it down in there, come back out, work on my piece, dip, work on my piece. And then that way I'm not constantly trying to stop and then start and all that stuff. So yeah, like I said, I get these from an array of uh, different people online. These, these here are just some more uh, felt and cotton buffs and things like that. eBay, look for Dremel uh, mounted points, uh, buffing, like uh, polishing points and things like that. And these things will start to come up and you'll start to sort through and find different tools and bits and hopefully they work for you like they work for me. If you have a better solution for anything you see here and you're like, hey, why is he not using this? Let me know in the comments below because I would love to find a better solution. I'm always looking for new things to use, different tooling. I'm always trying new stuff to make my life easier and to make the end product even better. So again, I hope this video helps you guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you do, go ahead and leave a comment, please. Hit the like button and give me a follow, hit the bell. Do all the things that you do on YouTube to make sure that I pop back up in your newsfeed and all that things. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Stay grinding.